Spiders. We finally made it to day five. We've been pushing it hard all week long. I hope you've given each of these workouts a try. It's only five minutes long. Okay, and then in the future, if you, um, if I don't post a video for one day, guess what you can do? You can do each of these five workouts for the entire week into one workout. So that's a five, 10, 15, 20, 25 minute workout. You'll be burnt out and you'll get lots of strength and lots of cardio. That's the good thing about these workouts. They're short, high intensity workouts, meaning we are getting strength, we're getting uh, cardio, we're getting endurance, everything by doing these workouts. So again, some people are like, man, I mean, how do you get good cardio if you don't go for a long run? Doing these workouts, you see how hard we push it. You can get your cardio from this and I guarantee you, if you wanna go run one or two miles, you're gonna have no problem doing that because you are doing these workouts and you're getting your cardio doing these workouts, okay? So let's get into day five and this is our workout. All right, so look at the explanations that I'm about to show you. Get your interval timer, push extremely hard because this is the fifth workout of the week and we're done for the weekend. And these are the explanations. All right, hang tighters, opposite hand, opposite foot. This is actually a really strong core yoga move. Okay, we've done it before, but I'm doing it again because it's challenging. So we're gonna be doing five on the right and five on the left, but I want you to alternate. So what you're gonna be doing is opposite hand with the opposite foot. That means while this hand is out, this foot I might have to do that at an angle. So while your left hand is out, your right leg is coming around to the side like this and back. So you're actually going to start off at front. So you're like this, bouncing pose. You're going to kind of gradually go out with both and come back and switch. So you're up, I have to find an angle that I can do this. So I'm up and I'm going out wide. So you can see my bouncing and back, okay? It's really, really challenging, but good. You're working your core big time. You're working your um, arms, you're working your legs, you're working your glutes. Really, really good exercise. I'm gonna do it one more time if I can avoid uh, hitting everything. So, I got my left hand out, my right leg back. Try to keep your foot um, down, okay? Try not to point it, you wanna keep it down. This right hand needs to be directly under you so that you can get good balance. And you got this, so you're gonna go out wide, and try and keep parallel and come back and down. So you're up at an angle here and back down. Okay, so beginners, I want you to try that as well. Okay, if that's too much, I just want you to do the arm or just the leg. So you got your knees and your hands planted on the ground. So you can get that hand and go out and back down. And then what you can do, you can get your foot, you can go out to the side, back and back down. So just kind of alternate if you want, okay? You can get that leg like this, or if you just want to do the arms or just do the legs, that's fine. And that's gonna be your variation. All right, negative push-ups, okay? Negative push-ups, we're gonna be laying flat on our belly and we're gonna be pushing up into a push-up slash plank and going right back down, doing it for 10 reps, okay? So negative push-up really allows us to uh, strengthen our chest. Uh, we're getting a, a more of a strain, I guess, in those muscles because we're starting from the ground versus just doing regular push-ups really fast. So get in the push-up position, okay? Really, really tight plank, okay? Your feet need to be together. They can be slightly apart, it's up to you, okay? And you're gonna be going all the way down to the floor with your push-up like this, <sighs> okay? And what I want you to do, you're going to lift your hands up a little bit, put them back down, and push yourself up in a straight plank like this. <sighs> really, really strong, okay? So it might almost be a little fun for you. So remember when you're doing push-ups that you don't sink your butt down, so I don't want you to do this. I don't want you to be on the ground and come up like this to get your plank. I don't want you to be on the ground and push your booty up and try and do something funky like that. I strictly want you to be down on the ground and your hands can be close to your side. They don't have to be tricep push-ups. That's like really, really close when your elbow's in. Just have them, you know, kind of close. And you can be looking for your neutral head. You don't want to look too far up. You don't want to look yourself in the ground and eat carpet or the dirty gym floor. Keep it neutral and then just push up. <sighs> really, really straight. So that's going to be the negative push-ups um, for the beginners. What I want you to do, I want you to <clears throat> be in your knees, okay? And we'll see how this works, okay? I don't know if this is going to be comfortable for you guys. Just doing this and then pushing yourself back up on your knees. So try that. You can go down, release your hands, <sighs> and come up, or if you want to, um, maybe you can use one leg, I'm not quite sure, and ease your body down, 
and then use one leg up and get your body up like this maybe one knee I don't know try what works best for you probably that first variation is going to work better and that's going to be that exercise all right let's get into this last workout get your interval timer go ahead and set it okay one round five seconds five minutes of work okay we're starting off with the opposite hand opposite foot first and then we're going to go into those negative push-ups all right so let's get started i want to make sure that you guys can see me and work along with me four three two one one Ooh. two three four five six seven eight nine ten negative push-ups one two three four five six seven eight nine ten one round one two three four five six seven eight nine ten oh, shoulders are burning all right negative push-ups <clears throat> one two three four five six remember to breathe like me <laughs> seven eight nine one more <laughs> ten this round two keep pushing two minutes 25 one two three four five six seven eight nine ten negative push-ups all right let's go one two three four five arms are burnt out keep it pushing six seven tighten your body it'll help going up eight nine one more ten let's go three rounds down see if we can get four one two three Woo. 
four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Negative push ups. One, two, all right. That was our workout for today, okay? So I got three rounds and I got 10 opposite hand, opposite foot, and two push-ups for that last round. All right, hang tighter, so that completes day five, okay? The negative push-ups um, after this week's workout is really, really burning, really, really bad. It, my shoulders are stinging, they're burning, but that's good because it doesn't hurt. Remember, sore is good, burning is good, but not hurt. Okay, so I got both of those down, accomplished. We've worked our total body this week, so go and enjoy your weekend. Now, I'll see you for next week's workouts. Bye.